Hey guys, Pyrus Masquerade here, doing a review on the Paleo Max Zords. So, basically what is happening is I'm doing a review on each one of the Power Rangers. And after my uh, mass uh, Ultra Zord thing, my mass explosion, whatever I'm going to call it, it will be all of the Zords in regular Zord mode. And I will combine them all, and it'll probably take about three parts. So, just be sure to stay tuned for that. But that will probably be after I do the first time of the whole thing. But anyway, so, I'm going to start the review. Okay, so, the Paleomax Zords are basically trained ancient zords that have something to do with dinosaurs. As you can see, this is the mammoth train, number 10. As you can see all the holes, but you probably don't want to see it that way. So, number 10, it's nice and red. As you can see from here, it kind of looks like a toy, candy toy version, but it's not. Uh, the engine cell, well, the engine cell it came with is You need screwdriver to pop into here. There's a little, as you can see, there's a little, tiny little hole right there. So what you can do is you can get like a little screwdriver and you can just like, put your hand through it. On. You can just do this, and that's the engine cell it came with. So. Anyway, so quick notable and a quick rant. So quick rant. Uh, they show the Rail Blaster and Rail Saber in the show. They did not release it. Why, Bandai? Are you guys just being lazy because it's last season? If it's the last season, you should be releasing more. You should even be releasing more of styro. Even if you had to release a styrofoam version. And just give us the engine cells for these guys. We just want the engine cells for these guys. So, anyway, that was my rant. So, anyway, so, basically, as you can see, if this one moves, it's just like a locom- It's just like a train. So, and if this one moves, let me just quickly show you on the carpet that I have. kind of works and it kind of doesn't. But and let me pull this back. Okay, so quick thing, uh, if this one moves, it will. I hope you guys can see that because. So basically, that is what this does. So, quick thing, to get to the little peg to combine them all in, into a train, just pull that off and pull this down. So, that's basically it for this. Putting them off to the side. Oh yeah, so this whole train will disassemble for Paleo Max, so let's just do that quick thing. This is going to close down, this is going to become the waist. Pull these off and these will become the hand. Just do that. Close this up. Pull this one off. And... This one just that's how 
this disassembles and I'm going to quickly show you how to put these guys together alright so I'm going to start off I'm going to start off with this way so what is happening is take these parts they were originally like this turn the back one around like this plop that right in, make sure it looks like that, and make that look like that. I'm going to pull out the head. A major flashback to Mighty Morphin. Make sure that's out in that. And you'll hear a click. So, and then you just click that right in. Sorry about that, I didn't get it on camera. So, the arms have little pegs right here, which will correspond to here and into here now for the waist as you see these two little pegs here and here they will correspond into these little pegs right here so and there you go that is the top half that's the torso and the upper body of the Paleo Max Alright, so the same exact, these, the feet are the exact same, they do the same exact posability, uh, same thing about the train, uh, they open the exact same way except for this one, train, ow, ow, son of a gun, uh, it's very easy to get your finger pinched, like right there, you can get your finger pinched, but this one will open up a little more than the Triceratops will, so, we both have the exact same transformation. And quick way to know which leg is which is the way they tilt. So and as you see this one's up like that, you just always want to click it down on. So and going to Oh as you can see that one. Take the Trano. Make sure you line it up in there. It will click in there. And that it will this one will click right in there too. And that is the Paleo Max Paperwork. And that is the Paleo Max Nasework. I'm going to lie him down so you guys can get a full view. So, that's that. Uh, its final pose, well, one of its striking poses is this. And in the show, this would come down, but it's molded shut, so it won't. And it will do this. So, anyway. And these will go all the way down due to a uh, future transformation. So, anyway. Alright, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next part of this review, which will be the mass combination of... Mass review of this guy mixed with the Skyref Megazord. So stay tuned for that, which is going to be part two. And thank you for watching. Later days.